Hello, Drogan Kippa Tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Shadowrun Dragonfall with me, Blue Inkilo. We're currently working our way up the hotel. We've uh, cleared out the ground floor, first, second, and third for the most part. Uh, our man should be on the fourth floor that we're planning on talking to. We've also unlocked a couple doors on this floor, or we've got the key codes for it. And there's also the penthouse suite. I'm kind of thinking maybe I want to go there next. I don't know. I just want some money. I've been feeling like the last couple episodes we've been really shortchanged in terms of money. I mean, I've got some cram and I've got some jazz, but I'm probably just going to sell those. And, uh make up for the fetishes and the uh, med kits we're gonna have to use for this for this play session so I wonder if I was supposed to remember which room had the safe in it and was supposed to look it up on the computer earlier because one of the people on the ground floor in the bar was talking about someone up here that had a, a fancy safe I don't know which room it was. The security panel shows that this door is double meg locked. It'd be easier to tunnel in through the wall than it would be to break through this thing. Well, that's great. So, nothing on the penthouse suite. We've got a, a door that we can't open, and then a bunch of just normally locked doors. Well, this wasn't quite as profitable as I was hoping. I've probably missed a whole bunch of stuff by not having enough intelligence and not enough decking and not enough yada 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 because I uh, didn't preemptively know all the skills you were going to need to unlock all the dialogue options. Anyway, let's go to the fourth floor. Or wait, didn't I? I thought I had something for the fifth floor too, didn't I? Let me just double check here. No, it's all fourth floor. So, I haven't used the maintenance key fob yet, as far as I remember. I don't think so. Uh, but we've got 401, which should be right here. So that's 5870. There we go. Please don't end up fighting scorpions again. All right, look, street thug. I've had enough of your crap. Get out of here. I'm even going to hit you. Stay down. Just have a look in here. What are we up against? Uh, nothing in this room. So whatever's coming at us has a ways to run. We'll save Glory's uh, Adrenaline Pump for later. There we are. I was ex what I'm hoping was that he would spend, or she, would spend all of her AP running out, and then basically we'd be ready. And then we can do stuff like this. And this. And this. There we go. I swear I clicked exactly the same and it just worked differently that time. Not done yet! But wait, there's more! Ah, there is an organ lager here, okay. Uh, he'll have to spend one AP to come out to see us at the very least, so let's just make him do that. Sure, we'll give ourselves some damage resistance, whatever. He takes two AP because he ends up hiding. And that just means... Iger can barely shoot him once. Good! That's totally what I wanted her to do, actually. I didn't really tell you guys, but what I was hoping was that she would miss two out of three shots at 70% and then uh, very, barely do any damage. That's That was the real goal. What? 39% chance? Glory! Maybe I should find a way... Maybe there's a way to turn the difficulty down from very hard to hard. Why can't she hit him? 
Now it's 45, but... I don't understand why my accuracy is so bad here. Of course he shoots me. That's fine. One shot is not that difficult to heal up. No matter how much damage, as long as I'm alive, it's just immediately healed back up, so that's fine. I'm mostly just confused as to why he's so hard to hit. I mean, he's like an orc. He's, his job is an organ leg legger. Like, does that mean he chops people's legs off? Because, like, what he really should be is in the army as a ninja. Because apparently that's his strength in life. He's really good at just ninja dodging everything. Yeah. That's, that's good. I mean, like, I didn't expect we were going to hit him anyway. It's good. I shot Glory in the back. Look, I might be getting a little bit upset here by our inability to hit this orc. And I might be getting a little bit, um... Tilty, I guess would be the phrase. He's apparently impossible to hit with magic. Well, not impossible, but like... He's difficult to hit with magic, and he's also incredibly difficult to hit... With like, knives and swords and stuff. Razor blades. Alright, well... We killed him! But... I am going to try to make a conscious effort to not complain too much for Let's Play. I know that's generally not super... doesn't go over super well. That's not what people come to watch. But, like, you guys tell me in the comments, objectively speaking, from people who are watching, is the hit rate not just ridiculous in this game right now? Like, maybe that's just how Dragonfall is balanced. I haven't played it before. But maybe it's the very hard setting, one or the other. But, like, I get hit... I don't know... We, were, we weren't in cover that time, that wasn't a great example, but like, in previous encounters, I usually keep my guys in light or medium cover at the very least, if that's all there is available. And we get hit, I'm gonna say, feels like 75% of the time, maybe? It's very, it's, it's very high, it's no less than that, so... 3 out of 4, 4 out of 5, we're getting hit, which would say that our, like, the enemy's chance to hit us has to be like in the 70-80% range, something like that. And then in turn, they can be standing out in the open and we'll get a 33% or a 40%. And that, I just, I don't know. I don't know, guys. It's supposed to be very hard, I guess, but... It still has to be fair, right? Well, not fair, fair. You know, like, the, the mechanics have to make sense. Like, it has to be an explanation for why we have such a hard time hitting anything. I don't know what we're picking up. Med kits and med stuff, I guess, just in general. Is this going to be worth anything to us? That's the question. So I picked up an advanced med kit. I assume the other one went to our stash? Whatever we picked up? The auto-injector thing? I assume. It didn't say... I think in, in Shadowrun Returns it says sending to stash if you couldn't hold it, but maybe this time it just automatically does it for you, which is fine. Alright, so I'm looking for room 405, I think, is the one that has what's-his-name in it. Uh, I keep clicking on the wrong page. Yeah, 1989, that's where we're going. Room 405, 1989. Okay, so now it's going to my stash, like I'd thought. This is the same screen as we had in, uh, in Returns. So what, where did the other one go? I thought I picked up something else then. I know there was something else, like I picked up two things in this last room. Weird. Or was it a mission item, maybe? Here we go. Schematic. Auto-injector hyper. 
the schematic for a piece of cybernetic bodywear. This device produces a steady supply of the, on the street, of the street known as hyper. Steady supply of the street drug. Wow, my reading comprehension just went down two levels. Well, that's kind of neat. So there's a schematic for some uh, cyber up, uh, cyber cybernetic upgrade. Sure. Cool. I guess when we get back to the uh, Kruitz Bazaar, we'll have a have to have a chat with the doc about that one. We'll check this out quick. Didn't really expect much, but it was worth a shot. And then 1989. The only door that we can click on. Alright, easy. Alright, let's have a chat with old Greeny. If he's even here. Got a bunch of computers. So what, is this guy going to be some sort of decker? I assume, yeah, these look like computers, right? Some sort of server farm. Computer, some spare monitors, some old computer parts. Oh. He's pretty dead. Well, that's not good. The scene is eerily familiar. The dead man is still jacked into his smoldering computer. His face contorted into a mask of pain. Blue smoke spills from his data jack, like Monica. And there's something else. The man's outline is wrong. It takes a moment for the realization to sink in. His back is bent at an impossible angle. Jesus. Looks like he convulsed hard enough to break his own spine. Is that even possible? Glory gestures at the twisted form on the carpet. You tell me. Iger kneels beside the corpse, bending to peer at his face. Matches the description that Altooth gave us. It's Green Winters. She straightens, glancing back at the body before returning her attention to you. This is what happened to Monica. I suspect it would have. We jacked her out in time to prevent that. <laughs> oh, the sarcasm. Um... Yeah, hell of a way to go. Yeah, I'm getting that. She knows what I was thinking. I don't have to say it out loud. She's not stupid. She can tell by this that uh, if this is what Monica, what happened to Monica, she knows damn well that I wasn't saving her. Or she wasn't saving her either. Iker takes another look at the broken corpse, and you can see the uncertainty growing in her eyes. I've seen biofeedback deaths before. Never seen anything like this. Kneeling to inspect the body, you find smears of blood on the carpet under Winter's right arm. Moving the arm aside, you find a number written across the floor. 91612. You use your PDA to take a hollow pick of the number in the body and step away. So, we have a number. We've got a painting, okay. Hanging on the wall is a large, gaudily framed painting. An imp Impressionist landscape, inexpertly rendered in splotches on cheap acrylic. A nameplate on the frame reads, Harrer's Mountain 2011. Check for safes. No. Let's check this one. Hanging on the wall is a large, gaudily framed painting. An unimaginative still life of some kitchen object sitting on a table. Hey, uh, 91612, I think. Hey, short term memory for the win. Inside the safe, you find a bunch of old, well worn media discs. The word Watch Me has been hastily written on the topmost decks. Well, let's inspect them for traps. The disc labeled Watch Me looks almost new. The others are clearly much older, and many of them are badly scratched. The last two discs in the bundle are stuck together, and when you pry them apart, the readable surface of the bottom disc peels away. Alright. As soon as you finish with the safe, the nearby vid phone begins to ring. Sure, why not? What could possibly go wrong now? Hey there, Chief! Don't hang up! I've got a proposition for you! 
Uh, this is probably like the gang boss that is aware that we've been killing all of his buddies in the uh, hotel. This isn't the best time. I'm a little busy. Yeah, I get that. From what I'm seeing on my monitors, you've had a busy day. You'll want to hear me out all the same. Trust me on this. You've probably noticed that this building is under new management, right? And judging by the fresh corpses that I'm seeing strewn all over the hotel, I'm going to guess that you don't like the new guys any better than I do. Well, I'd like to make you an offer. You help cover my escape, and I'll get you into a secure vault on the top floor. Ooh. Belong to the leader of the gang that used to run this place. Probably him. <laughs> Trust me, it's still secure. I set up the security protocols myself. The last decker they brought in to take a crack at it came back out on a stretcher. They haven't found too many volunteers since then. Maybe he's either the old boss or my new decker I'm going to recruit. Because we don't have one. We obviously have to find one eventually. Um, Sure, I like the sound of money. You got my attention. Gear, money, you know, good stuff. We can need some specific examples, yeah. Look, buddy, I just set up the Matrix security for the thing. The old boss didn't tell me, didn't let me set foot in the vault. He was a little paranoid, you know. But he was adamant that he wanted me to rig up some really killer IC. So there must be something about it. He doesn't even know. Jerk. So, how about it? You want a crack in the vault or no? All right, all right. What do you want? Room 505, penthouse. Sure. Well, I'm willing to give it a shot. It doesn't look like there's much else to do here anyway. I could really go for some loots. And even more importantly, some karmas. So, 505 upstairs. Alright. So this could all be a trap as well. Keep in mind, it is Shadowrun. This guy could literally be the leader of the of the gang we've been killing, and uh, he's just luring us into a trap. That would be that'd be possible. How? Oh, you can see me through your window. I'm gonna be like, how could you tell I was here? Yeah, all right. All right, buddy. Knew you'd come. I've always been a good judge of character. Since we're meeting in person, I'll formally introduce myself. Blitz, Decker extraordinaire at your service. Uh... Eh, Lady Blue. He doesn't even care. The vault is just around the corner. Once we get there, I can unlock it with a few clicks on the keypad. Blitz offers you something between a smile and a smirk. A smirk -isle. Built myself a back door when I wrote the security system. Never hurts to be careful. Never hurts to rob your clients. Sure, why not? Let's go. Come along, Blitz. Which room was that? 501? Probably. Couldn't get in here before. Hey, drone repair kits. We're just going to be selling that for sure. We don't have any drones yet. That's a pretty cool looking bed though. I like this one. So you guys, you got to donate to the Blues Penthouse Fund so I can have a cool place like this to live. That might be fun. I don't see any uh, safes in here, by the way. Maybe he was talking about the Merit Lock door? But that, I'm sure that room didn't open the first time we came through. Oh, good. Now there's people here. Where did you guys even come from? I walked by here just a few minutes ago. Alright, let's, uh... That's a pretty good spot back here, isn't it? I guess I'll go with that one. We do have Blitz as well. He's got a submachine gun and he's got more skill with it than most of my team has with their guns. Glory's not looking too good in terms of HP, so I want to be a little bit careful with her. Iger's pretty good though. Alright, I am going to take the full cover. 
I just walk through the wall to get there. That's cool. I'm going to give Iger medium cover. Dietrich can be seen right now. So he's going to... He's going to cast haste on himself, and then he's going to move out of the way. And then next turn he'll be able to do lots. We'll aim up and heal if someone's been hurt. What? I guess we can't see through this pillar at all. Well, that's fun. Okay. Uh, let's do our uh, adrenaline pump at least. Because I'm probably going to need her next turn. And I guess that's it. Blitz, you might as well just get out of the way. Okay, you ran away. You're running forward. Alright, so here I am. Can Iger see anybody? Nope. I could move her forward. Move Glory forward. Okay, so what we're going to do here is aim on Iger, at the very least. Aim on Glory. And maybe aim on me as well. I can throw some... Uh... Oh, I don't think she can see me. Or, I don't think he can see me. Hmm. She could run down, take two slices, and then run away, and that might break his cover so someone else could hit him easier. Yeah, yeah. Alright, we did hit him once. So you get out of the way. Now he's not technically in cover anymore. I'm in full cover, so you'd think the odds would be in my favor for this firefight. But, uh... I don't know. I could use my spirits. I could summon a spirit here. But I kinda... I mean, there's only three of them. I don't want to waste another 400 noyan worth of uh, fetish. All right, we're gonna cast haste on Iger. And we're gonna have Iger move here. Trusting you, Iger. Try not to die. She's the one with the most HP. If anyone's gonna get shot, it should be her. Maybe he can. Maybe she can finish this guy too. Nice, Iger. Good job. All right, that was a good start. Pretty happy. And uh, this guy, I don't know. He, he doesn't seem bad. How much HP has this guy got anyway? Fifty. Reasonably good with Decker. Oh, he can do rigging too. Does he have one? He doesn't have a drone with him, but he could. Hmm, I'll think about it. Alright, you're running up close into the shotgun. Oh, sure. Shoot me through cover. That's great. It's not like I'm in full cover or anything. It's not like that should protect you from being shot. No. 72% out in the open. Miss. I don't know what the percent is, but... Should be fairly low, behind full cover. In fact, you might even be able to check. Um, let's see. Heavy cover... Doesn't tell you the exact numbers here, like I was kind of hoping. It's probably like 15, 30, 45% reduction or something like that. One. Too close for a sniper rifle. I have to just reload. Alright. Have some acid. Not bad. I hit two for two with my acid attack. So I can't... You know, it's not all bad. Alright, Glory. Did he take acid damage when she missed? be weird. 
just want to keep her out of the way. Ninety-five percent. There's no way I'm gonna miss. There we go. Good work, Dietrich. One left. Of course she hits him. I wouldn't have it any other way at this point. 46% has cover. Could take an aim shot, 57. Still got the aim buff. Um, I mean, we're almost done here. Okay, what I'm going to do is move Glory, like, here, cast Haste on her, and have her dash down and claw. Or at least try. It's going to take two... Ah! Uh... Alright, well, then I changed my mind. I thought she'd have enough movement points to get a run-in slice rather than a... The other kind. Ah, we're not even going to be able to hit this one guy, are we? girl. I can just see it. We're not going to hit him. Let's try some spray and pray, maybe. Oh, I should have tried that. There we go. Flush. Never seen that before, but yeah, there you go. That was a good one. Should have done that earlier. 61% sniper. Very good. It's like XCOM all over again. I mean, snipers that can even take three shots around. Still, totally useless. Do it again. Okay, that, that attack is pretty handy. I mean, our odds to hit are still just garbage. But, um... Why does she have such a low chance? Now, this goon is now flanked. And it's like my aim... Oh, her, her, her buff's gone away. That's it. So normally, a flanked opponent, we had 34% chance to hit. That's our life. 34% chance to hit while flanked. Even to get to around 50%, you have to cast a spell to buff yourself. And then you still miss constantly. <laughs> oh, it's so bad. Come on, glory. It's time for the glory days. We, we can't hit this person. I know Iger has been really successful with her shots, but I figure one more chance with her is better than me spending time just doing nothing with my acid bolt. Like here, I'll throw some acid bolts down there. I'm sure it'll be really useful. That's what I expected, basically. Um, are we actually going to be able to kill this person, or are we just going to lose here, unable to kill the last person on the map, like, you know. Okay, Blizz is doing some pretty good work. Maybe though, maybe Iger will kill it. There we go. That was, uh, a little, is, can I, okay. I don't think I can change the difficulty of the game mid-run. I think that only happens when you start the game. I don't think I can change it from very hard to hard without restarting the game over. I'm going to be thinking about it, though. It's not that it's unplayable at very hard, but it's, like, ridiculously unfair. If if the swing is basically an, an exposed enemy in the correct range with my character with no buff is 30% chance to hit, 30 to 35% chance, 
And then the reverse is if we're in full cover and they hit us nine times out of ten. What is going on in the world? We have targets just painted to our foreheads? I don't understand. Anyway, thanks Blitz. Open this up, please. Done! Wait, when did that get installed? Take cover! Did we all die? I don't have a face cam on, but if you could see my face, it would be one of extreme disappointment. I, I didn't even get a chance to move. I just opened the door and then I'm dead. And I wasn't at low HP, I'm pretty sure I was at full, or minus one from the last combat or something. So glad I can summon a spirit in here and just sacrifice myself. Well, the auto turret can't move, so we leave it there and let the little drone come at us. So dumb. <laughs> How are you supposed to do anything? Like, the enemy, I mean, sure, that time I was out of cover. They probably have a 100% chance to hit when you're not in cover. And when you're in cover, they have like a 90% chance. At least she reloaded between combat. Glory doesn't even get uh, 2 AP, she just gets the 1. Not like it really matters, but... Alright, just uh... Getting my, my cool back, just calming my nerves a little bit. Don't worry about it. I'm really glad that this thing didn't immediately kill me, because, uh, you know, that wouldn't have been very fair. Now, okay, riddle me this. I'm fairly sure that magic attacks are supposed to be resisted in terms of chance to hit by an enemy's willpower or maybe charisma score. Point blank, no cover, a robot, I can't hit with acid even half the time. I don't understand. I just don't understand it. It's easier to shoot it with a submachine gun than just drop some acid on it from your hand. And we're still probably going to miss. It's got a lot of HP too, so... And it's got three armor, so we'll be doing minus three damage every time we do hit it. Do we have anything that shreds armor yet? I don't think we really do, actually. Like, I can add armor piercing to some shots, but I don't think I have a way to actually destroy armor yet. You know, acid, you'd think, would reduce an enemy's armor rating. That's kind of a classic armor or uh, acid thing to do. Lower armor. Let's try this. I'm pretty sure that said 96% chance. Now I realize that's not 100% and you'll miss it sometimes, but come on!
Seven damage, seven damage. Seven damage, two shots. Okay, Glory got a lot of hits in there, that helps. I am glad I managed to hit it once. That's all I could ever hope for. I don't want to use kneecap, it doesn't have knees. But I don't know if we're gonna be able to kill it. It's gonna be pretty close. I don't think we're I don't want to use spray and pray because it can hit it'll hit me instead. We did not kill it! Oh good! There was something other than a turret in there. An enraged troll! That's all. It's cool. It's totally cool, guys. How much HP does this thing have left, and is Glory gonna survive? Nine left, so we need to do at least seven damage to finish it off, because it'll take two more next turn. Uh, it's still got armor, so one pistol round won't do it. Um, I'm thinking of electro crawling the troll, because I'm really scared of him. And I need him to lose some AP. He lost one, even on a miss, so... I guess that's a win? Iger, I'm trusting you. Finish it. And I need you... It's already asleep, so I'll save your kneecap for next turn. Take a shot and then reload. Of course you missed. And Glory, you're just going to start shooting. I don't want to move you. Well, I don't think he's going to get an action next round. So she could run up and start slabbing, stabbing him. He's got three armor as well. It's not a great difference. It's possible the turret would be able to see her if she stands next to him. So let's play it safe and keep her back. She's also really, really low HP, so... Oh, I can't do her adrenal pump either. Not much... Could have tried that. Okay, I'll try to remember to use mark target next turn at the beginning of our turn. Alright, so yeah, he wasted his turn. Now, I don't know, but I assume he'll be back up next round. Probably. I am very nearly dead after dying already. So we want to open with mark target. 63%. It's no way it could fail. Alright, he is marked. I saw it, right? So we've got, what does it say, 20% I think it looked like, maybe? So we could either go aim burst for 95% chance to hit him twice for 5 damage each. Or... Or we could do 85% chance to hit him twice, 45% crit. 45% crit either way. It says low critical damage. I think because he's got um, so much defense, I need to go for big critical damage. Like, that was some damage. Maybe I can get him with some acid. Yeah. I mean, I did one damage, but uh, now he's got acid. So that's three damage, really. <laughs> I'm just trying to hold it together, guys. Um... Definitely gonna try a kneecap. Okay, I think he's gonna be stunned for another round then. Just keep shooting him. That's really good. 63% chance we just missed three out of four. Alright, well. As long as we can keep him stunned long enough. Oh, I should have, uh, 
Should have opened with this again. Okay, we want to keep that every little aim we can get. You know, mark him, accuracy buff us. This won't do, this will do four damage if it hits. Maybe a crit a quarter of the time. What's... she's haste... okay, yeah, it's... I'd rather just give the shots to Glory than take one from Dietrich. Although it's possible, uh, Iger will just finish him off. Nice, Iger! Okay, so all that's left is the turret in there, and the turret can't move, so we should really take our time here, get everyone healed up. And reloaded and whatnot. Although we'll probably try to kill with a sniper turret from over here or something. Next turn I'll maybe haste aim and have her give it a shot. Yeah, I can't move in line of sight of the turret or I'm dead. It's really not a good idea for Dietrich because he's got so low HP. Iger is the only one who can withstand the hits. Glory... It's probably not a great idea for you either, really. So I could, like, haste D um Blitz, have him move, mark target, move out of the way, and then have Iger move, shoot, shoot, try not to die, and then three shots again if you... Yeah, I guess that's sort of what I'm going to plan for. Yeah, I, that's what we're going to do. Alright, you haste Blitz. Haste Iger. I didn't get to put aim on her, but let's see. Can she shoot him from there? I'm actually not even sure. This may not be the best strategy. So he can move quite a long way here. Can she actually hit him now that there's line of sight? No, there's no line of sight. Okay, so that's a mistake. Let's wait till next turn. We'll do the same idea, but next turn. I don't know if I'm going to use Glory. Maybe I should, though. Yeah, the more shots we have going, the better. We'll have her adrenaline pump herself. Okay. So, we want Dietrich to make sure Iger can hit. And also Glory, if I move her in there. We start with Blitz. I think... And Glory can't quite move far enough. So what I'm gonna do... I'm gonna be leaving Iger here, I think. So I want her to be able to shoot it. Oh, it's actually not that hard to shoot. Yeah, that's right. Turrets have a fair bit of HP, but not a lot. And they're gonna have damage resistance now as well. But uh, they don't get, they're like, they're not hard to hit. I'm still going to do what I was planning on, though. Okay. Maybe I'll have him shoot it as well. Just to maximize the damage dealt. He's okay for HP. Sh sure. It's going to take a while to kill this thing no matter what we do. Well, maybe we can do it. Take at least one shot with Glory here. Do we take one at 60% or two at 45? Two at 45. She can't kill it with one hit. She'd have to get a crit. 
so that's all we've got left, except me, I'm not moving out there, so that's it. We have to give it at least one action to see what it does. Looks like we'll be fine. Okay. Oh, I think we managed to handle that. Barely. All right, team. Looks like that was probably the boss of the area. Because we had that enraged troll. Please give me something good. It's just a drone. I'm just going to pick this drone up. I picked up some bliss. Sure. The drone appears to be broken. All it can do is hover. It's my drone now. Okay. More loot. More drugs. Got some more jazz. And the, the big safe that we've been looking forward to all this time. What do we actually get for our trouble? Well, that's not bad. 1,400 noyan and... Some more drugs. What did you expect at a drug house? That's all he had in there, Drek, yeah. One drug and 1,400 noyan. Not a great haul. But with that, I believe we're done in here. Unfortunately, we've ruined the silky part. But we have made some money. Not a lot, though. And I i mean, I feel like I've missed some other stuff, but uh, it's hard to tell, and I don't really want to spend any more time here on camera, so. With that, I think we're going to leave. Um, I'm just going to head to the exit of the building to see if anything happens, but... Um, we might be ambushed on the way out, is what I'm thinking. No, it's pretty empty. Still some people hanging out. Or oh, is that cops? Like, is this a drug bust? Looks like Silky's gone though, so that's... She just ran away as soon as there started being fighting. I guess that's it then, we can probably just go home. Hey, thanks for the assist. Can't tell you how happy I am to leave this place behind. Yeah, no problem, buddy. Didn't really do anything special. You just came along with me on the way out. I wonder if, like, if we talked our way through this floor, if we still would have had to fight our way out at the end. Like, it may not have really saved us much by f talking through it. Other than that side quest, maybe. Hmm. Anyway, uh, Blitz... Blitz nods at you, then abruptly changed the subject. Say, you wouldn't happen to need a Nova Hot Decker, would you? Because I suddenly find myself unemployed. Well, as it happens, we could use a Decker. I haven't seen him fail any decking yet, and uh, he was actually pretty good with his submachine gun, so you know what? We could use a Decker. Alright, fantastic! I promise you won't regret it! Blitz has joined your team. It's good to have someone who's got the Deccan skills. Your team makes its way back to the nearest U-Bahn station. 20 minutes later, you're on a return trip to the Cruise Bazaar, leaving the filth of Drogon Kippa far behind. But the image of Green Winter's twisted corpse continues to linger in your mind. You lift one of the discs you pulled from Winter's safe to the light. Reflections dance off his surface. With luck, you'll soon have the answers you've been looking for. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. I wouldn't get my hopes up too high from that disc, but... Crew advancement. Ooh. As you lead your team through the shadows, your companions will continue to develop and learn new combat skills. Clicking the icon in the lower right-hand corner of the screen will open the crew advancement window. Excellent. Blah, blah, blah. One of two, po two possible choices. Hmm. So, well, this is new for sure. So we get to choose how to level up some of our dudes here. So Iger... Do we give her Sniper Specialist or Shotgun Specialist? Shotgun Specialist gives her... It imbalances them, making it easier for her to shoot them. She also got a level up, so she's got Body, Range, Dodge, and Rifle. So she's automatically going to shoot better with her Sniper Rifle and take a bit less damage. 
and dodge a bit more. This one would be in 1 AP cost with her shotgun. Maybe kind of like that flush. Makes it so you can hit them. Maybe re like reduces their evasion, which is pretty valuable. Or... Really accurate sniper rifle shot for one shot. But it costs 2 AP. It's like an aim shot. Of the two... I don't know. The next upgrade is grenades. She gets a fancy sniper rifle round that ignores armor. This looks good. A shotgun ability that sets the target on fire and strips armor. And gives ongoing damage. That seems really good. I like that. Uh, another sniper rifle bullet or ability. Really high damage. Aggregate gains. Oh, this is like a new sniper rifle, I think. Or she can get wired reflexes. Eh, I don't know if that's exactly what she needs. Reloads her equipment instantly. Sniper ability that can target two enemies in one action. Well, I mean, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to give her. But I'm leaning towards the new gun. So sniper rifle here. Reloading is like, that might be better because every four shots she has to reload right now and that takes an action point. So this would give her, well that's pretty good too, burst damage, that's like double tap. That's a tough decision. I think the sharpshooter is no-brainer. I think the shotgun, the fire shotgun is probably the right idea. I mean, it ignores armor pretty good. These, this is a tough decision as well. Fire shotgun or ignore armor sniper. I don't know about the grenades. More damage or probably the flashbang. And... I think the problem with this first one is the fact that it costs 2 AP. It's a nice shot, but like what we're talking about here is she's going to go from 35% to 70 or 50 to 85. A lot of the times I'd rather shoot and move or reload and shoot or shoot and shoot. Which is going to be better than one slightly more accurate shot that still misses anyway. And the shotgun one just takes one AP, so the fact that it makes it easier to hit, that's what sold me. Scatter shot. Confirm. Sure. And we got more levels up. Okay, well we'll spend a little bit of time at the end of this episode and then we'll we'll wrap things up. So do we want what kind of magic? We well, okay, we can teach we've got like magic and we've got throwing weapons. He's also got Wow, he got a lot of stuff. So throwing weapons, yay, whoop de woo. Spell casting though, that seems good. So Upgrade his Electro Core, or upgrade his Throwing Weapons? Probably magic, right? The throwing Weapons don't seem to be that amazing, and accuracy is not going to be enough to really uh, make much difference. We can give him more Earth Elementals, or Fire Elementals. I don't know. I don't know which one's better, really, but it's kind of either or. Dietrich's basic Nerve Bolt spell now flushes enemy from cover. That seems good. He gets an innate plus one armor. That sounds lame, so probably the Nerve Spear. His Electro Core gets bigger. I like it. Or his Electro... Oh, that's even better, because right now his Electro Core costs 2 AP. So this means he can cast it cheaper. If we can put him on a Ley Line... He'll be just whipping these things out like mad. And then finally... Ah, uh, Dragon Slayer now harms all foes for a bit of damage. Saps them. Hmm, I don't know about that one. But I think we're going to go with the, the magic versions rather than the the knife or the armor so we'll go with meltdown 
Besides, he'd be better at casting anyway. She still has, Oh, I thought she still had like an upgrade, but... Or do I have to... Oh, yeah. Okay. And then uh, let's do glories as well, quickly. So we can either give her Razor Specialist, Pierce Armor, I like it, might do AP damage, it's never a problem, or more pistols. More damage, pierces armor, that's pretty good, like, on its own, this one seems better, because it does two damage and pierces two armor, that's like a swing of plus four against some enemies. That's pretty good. On the other hand, this one has a swing of just one. Razor Slash, Kick. I mean, I like the Razor Fingers, but this doesn't seem to do much. This one seems like... Plus 2 damage, minus 2 armor, same AP, just every couple turns. Yeah, that's a no-brainer. And then she can either get more Med Kits, or, tr or, or uh, Resurrection, probably the Med Kits then. Another better Razor Specialist. Two hits and strips armor. I don't know, maybe. Continue working on pistols. Up to four enemies, open fires on them all. That's pretty cool. Adrenal pump lasts longer, that's good. She can use her adrenal pump to revive people, that's fun. A lot of med kit type options here for her, obviously. Or, and a better pistol at the end. Yeah, that's a nice looking revolver, isn't it? 14 damage, 4 armor pierce. And then you could give her another 2 armor pierce from that. I mean, I was really hoping I was going to end up using her with Razor with the pistols all the time, but like... Oh man, she's got all the level ups, wow. She did get plus one in unarmed. That was what I was worried about because, like, if she like she's she should be at unarmed one now. But like at the beginning, she starts at zero unarmed and just uh, just just strength. But she needs that strength to do damage with these, and she didn't get any strength up. Everything else practically, she probably will later on. I I don't know. I have a feeling that we'll get more use out of this. And uh, this guy, upgrade his machine gun, upgrade his decking, decking, matrix stuff. That's pretty mild. Just a little bit of vision. 3% is not a big difference. ESP is not that great. Move speed, probably not that great. We'll probably give him the decking stuff, because if I bring him, I expect I'll be wanting to do decking. Alright, well, I mean, that was cool. It's neat that they've got those in there. I, uh, I don't think they're going to turn out to be as strong as I am. I mean, Glory did get a lot of upgrades. I can't even see her right now. Um, can't switch to her right now, I guess. But, um, I don't know. I, I wish I could see her screen right now. Anyway, I need to end the episode. It's already been longer than I wanted it. Um, next episode, I will figure out what I want to do with my karma. I can guess a little bit, but it depends. I'm going to probably check the shops before I, uh, spend anything. And we'll, uh, we'll probably check out with the, uh, the locals, and we'll talk to our, our crew in our base. Lots of talking next episode. Okay, thanks for watching, folks. Hope you've enjoyed, and have a great day!